Uh, my last guest is Abby Riggleman, and the film is Won't Pipe Down. And welcome to Wild and Scenic, Abby. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. I know you want to get over to the award ceremony, too. <laughs> I do. Have you been to Wild and Scenic before? I have not. This is my first time. Welcome. Um, and actually, Won't Pipe Down um, is my first film. Um, so, first time at a... It's a first time for a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, That's exciting. Yeah. Oh, How has yeah. Wild and Scenic been for you so far? Um, it's been incredible. Um, I've met so many filmmakers and seen so many amazing films. Um, so that was the biggest thing for me. Um, and then we've shown our film twice. Um, and it was so well received. People had so many questions. So that was great. That's exciting. Um, oh, so yeah. tell, me, tell me about Won't Pipe Down. Um, so Won't Pipe Down um, is a small community's fight against um, a proposed Atlantic Coast pipeline going through um, Virginia. Um, so, and it sort of follows the struggles um, of the community um, in trying to oppose this pipeline. Um, and sort of the, the reason I decided to start this project um, is my family was on the proposed route for the pipeline. Um, and so I proposed the idea to um, my documentary class at my university and um, three other amazing filmmakers decided to join me. Um, on that journey. So. What's some of the discoveries you had? Because obviously, when you hear something about that, that's going to happen in your own backyard, your mm -hmm. own community, and affects people that you love. It's one thing, and we start to hear, you know, different information. You're mm -hmm. trying to figure out what's true, what's not true. So, what were some of the things you found out, and what were your biggest surprises in that? Yeah, and that was one of the biggest parts of the film is is uh, we didn't know much before we went on this journey. So we learned along with the community um, as we. Um, as we filmed. Um, so we knew this proposed pipeline was coming through, um, but we didn't really know how the process worked with, you know, when you propose this natural gas pipeline, um, what is the process you need to go through to get it approved? What kind of chance do we have of actually stopping this? Um, so we learned a lot that um, Dominion Power is a huge uh, uh, company. And um, um, the process is they submit their proposed, um, proposed uh, route to FERC. Um, the, federal, the Federal Energy uh, Regulation Commission, and then we wait and see if FERC decides whether to approve the pipeline or not. Um, so right now we're in that lull period where um, FERC is deciding whether or not this pipeline should be um, put into the ground. So it's at a very pivotal point right now. Um, and so definitely learning how that process works and um, what you can do to you know, submit your own things to FERC to try to say, hey, maybe this isn't the best idea. Here's some things you should look at um, before you hopefully not approve this. So Yeah. <laughs> what have you what are you hoping to accomplish with your film and in, in affecting this? Yeah, well, um, with this film, um, this is the first time we've shown it outside of Virginia. Ooh, so that's exciting. Yeah, yeah, so it's great for us because um, everyone that we've shown it to within Virginia is still is normally um, they've been really passionate about this issue, um, but we really hope to show people what's going on um, in Virginia um, and just um, what communities can do to oppose these pipelines. Um, and so we even met some people that were going through a similar a similar thing um, with the film uh, 36 Inches. Um, so just to know that communities can, can fight this. Um, and so it's awesome to be able to show it in California. Um, and so many people were, um, were asking questions and cared about what was going on in Virginia, and I think that was what was really um, awesome for us is seeing that people cared. And you can help build support here too when you come somewhere to like Wild and Scenic and have all these extraordinary people who either are been through something like that or can help support you and give you ideas. Yeah, yeah, that is that is so true. So do you showcase personal stories in your film too of people who are being could potentially be affected? Yeah, it's actually um, my family is one of them because um, we have 50 acres and we own um, a farm distillery. Um, and so we showcase uh, my parents in it um, and what would happen if the pipeline went through um, our property. Um, and also um, we focus on um, an intentional community um, of about um, 40 different families um, and they share about 400 acres at the base of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, and so we go into their story and sort of how they use their land and then how the pipeline would affect that um, wow. pretty negatively. How so. does this, how does, um, how do they communicate this to your family, right? Like how do they get the information that their land is in the route? So um, what uh, Dominion does is send letters and say, hey, your route or your land is on the route um, for the pipeline. Um, we'd like to talk to you about possibly like selling it to us kind mm -hmm. of kind of thing. Um, but with my family specifically is um, they got the property lines wrong. So we found out 
through not through Dominion, um, and so we are still on the proposed route. Um, we found out by looking at the maps, but they never contacted us. Mm -hmm. um, so that's some of the issues too, and so that's when um, surveying comes into play. And a big part of the film too is um, in Virginia. Um, you know, um, these companies, um, resource companies, um, can survey your land um, without your um, consent. And that's sort of a big issue in Virginia is um, they can do it by law. And uh, so that's one of the big things that a lot of um, the community is fighting too is the right for these companies to survey, survey the land, which shouldn't, shouldn't, be, shouldn't be a thing. Um, so that's definitely a big issue as well. What happens if they, what happens for example if your family says no? Well, we what actually happens um, in the film too is um, Shannon Farm, um, they were sued by Dominion. On Christmas Eve they found out they're being sued for a right to survey. Um, which seems like something that you should be able to, you know, to stop people from coming into your property. So Dominion sued um, Shannon Farm um, for a right to survey, and it's still in the legal battle currently. So it's everything that's been going on in the film is still going on. It's still mm -hmm. very prevalent. Um, so that's sort of one of the main issues is just letting people know what's what's going on here. So Abby, what can we do to help support you? Well. Um, one of the main things is um, to keep up to date with going with what's going on. And Wild Virginia is a been a huge help with our film um, and sort of the inspiration um, for it too. So if you go to Wild Virginia's website, they have great um, great ways to take action. Um, and also Friends of Nelson, um, Nelson County um, is where this is going on in Virginia. If you go on Facebook or their website, you can keep up to date with everything that's going on um, and find out ways um, to help. So. Wow. What would you say just to everyone about why it's so important to step out and take action for something that's uh, in your community or close to your heart? Um, well, one thing that's mentioned in the film, too, is um, a lot of people don't care about it until it happens to you. Um, and I think that realizing that when you, you know, find a cause, and I think sometimes things can look so, so big, um, and it can be hard to think about getting involved because it's like, what can I do? Um, but even taking small steps, um, picking something that you believe in and trying to do something about it is, is so important. Um, and even especially young people, because um, I haven't met a t like a ton of other young, young, very young filmmakers here. Um, but um, it's just, it's, I think it's great to, no matter how, what age you are, to try to do something. Yeah, um, for sure. It's important. Have you received any backlash at all? From, it's called Dominion, <laughs> yes. the oil company? Um, not, not yet. Um, so they are aware of the film, we know, So because we did try to reach out to them to at least sort of get yeah, their side, sure. interview them, but they weren't interested. We're open to um, it. Yeah, so they're aware of it, but we haven't uh, received any backlash. Wow. Yet, so. <laughs> and why should folks come to something like Wild and Scenic Film Fest? You learn so much. Um, I've learned so, so much just by seeing all the films, and it's a great place um, to go um, to learn about what's going on um, in different communities and in the nation, so. Wow, thanks awesome. so much, Abby, for yeah, everything you're doing and putting me. yourself out out there. Won't Pipe Down is the film. I mean, it, a whole, uh, man, I swear a bunch of these films really are about putting yourself out there and doing what feels right, but, you know, resonating with your heart for your community and for beyond, really. And Wild and Scenic Film Fest is one of the only festivals that I know of that creates a platform for all these everyday extraordinary people like Abby to come together and say, you know, if something's not right, we're going to do something about it. And that also demonstrates that sometimes all it takes is one person, just one person to step beyond the comfort zone and say, you know what, I need to take action on this. I'm going to do my part, whatever that might be. And as Julia Butterfly mentioned, you know, it's really about creating those ripple effects. It's that butterfly effect, really. So who knows by Abby creating your film and being here, who knows what will, you know, other elements or things will help generate from that or someone even here will want to do something differently or support this. So you just never know. And I want to thank uh, my tremendous crew and Tara and Mark and uh, Dick and Catherine for being part of this and the support of KBMR to be our home base here. All of the volunteers, there are over 700 volunteers that participate in Wild and Scenic Film Fest, which is really like a quarter of Nevada City's population. So if you can imagine the community really being involved, well, I can't think of anything else more than that, really, that a huge part of Nevada City is involved in this. And Grass Valley as well, and to all of our venues and supporters and sponsors for that. It's been just a tremendous, full, and rich weekend. I'm grateful for being a part and having privy to all these stories. 
And let's hope that just by sharing the personal story that it's going to in, in hopefully engage you to get out there and make a difference. There are still free workshops going on. Dustin Thomas is going to be playing tonight at the National Hotel. The award ceremony is happening right now, so I know Abby wants to go do that. Um, all of these will be up at wildandscenicfilmfestival.org. And um, we're going to be back next year doing incredible things, thinking about a change of course. I'm Elisa Parker, and we will see you next year. Thanks so much. So I left Texas because I couldn't stand all the oil stuff and all the stench and the filth and the big roads. And I come to Virginia and I feel like a hex because now here they come. They want to tear my mountains up. It seems unconstitutional to me that eminent domain, which is supposed to be for Public utilities can be given to a private entity, a corporation. Telephone company, yes, they're serving us all. The electric company, we're serviced by those ugly lines that are down there. I'm not going to be serviced by Dominion at all, and nobody here will be. On the scale, that's 125 feet. That's how wide the swath is through our entire property. Is that amazing? It's a traumatic thing to have someone come and say, you have no say, whatever you've been, whatever stewardship you've had of your land makes no difference to us. Whatever the plans are for your land have no, make no difference to us. We're going to have our way and there's nothing you can say. This dotted line is approximately where the pipeline will go. That represents a mile of the pipeline. No pipeline. There's a, well, that's, we don't want a pipeline, do we? Pipelines to grow, meat and explode. One, two, three. We don't want your pipeline, we don't want your pipeline. We'll take the sunshine, the water, and wind. We're gonna put a stop sign on Dominion's pipeline. We'll tell your neighbors, go tell your friends. We're David's fighting Goliath. Go tell your neighbors, go tell your friends.